Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 391 of Prog Review. And today I'm talking about Aerosol Grey Machine by Van der Graaff Generator. Um, somebody said, you know, one of you, one of you sprouts said, do more Van der Graaff Generator. So I thought I'd cheat by doing this one. <laughs> um, this is, I don't know, if, is, this, is this technically the first Van der Graaff Generator album? I don't know. It was recorded and released back in 1969. Huh? 69. Blimey. Um... And it's um, yeah, it's a bit of an odd one, a bit, a bit of an odd one, because it, it was meant to be um, a, a Pete Hamill solo album, uh, but I think was it Mer- Mercury? Was it Mercury? Mercury Records? They we had a bit of a falling out, and for uh, Tony Stratton Smith to get Hamill and Co. released from his contract, um, Mercury did a deal that they released it under the name of Van der Graaff Generator. Um, so that's why we've got this. This is the um, the version put out by Peter Hamill himself later on. So the running orders are a little bit different. We've got afterwards, or uh, uh, I can never say Orthinthian Street. Put my teeth back in love. Uh, running back into a game. Ferret and Feather Bird. Uh, Aerosol Grey Machine. Black Smoke Yang. Aquarian. Giant Squid. Octopus and Necromancer. I am the Necromancer. Um, yeah, I mean, oh. Is it a VDGG album or is it a Peter Hamill album? That's the question. That is that is the main crux of my review. Um, yeah, I mean, listening to it, I mean, you, you do hear you do hear hints, whiffs of VDGG, but it it, owes, it does actually owe a lot more to um, Fool's Mate, um, Hamill's first solo album proper on the uh, Charisma label, than it does to. The least we can do is wave to each other. Um, it starts off with afterwards, which I think is probably one of the st- strongest uh, tracks on the on the album. Um, and again, yeah, it stretches. It's a bit like you know. Do you remember us talking about Genesis and Trespass, where you can feel them stretching? This is the same, um, but these guys seem to be at the very, very, very beginning of their um, musical journey um, because you know some of it is a little bit a little bit rough around the edges uh, it all things oh, I'm gonna say kind of get it right all through the street um, again is I find it inconsequential it doesn't really uh, do anything for me but running back and into a game do hint at what Hamill will be doing later on as you can see again you get a, a little sousson of Hamillness in there. Um, this version has uh, an early an early draft of Ferret and Featherbird, which uh, Hamill again released later on. He never he never wastes anything. He always goes back and redrafts and redraws. That's why fascinating career to, to look at. Uh, the title track is a, is an odd little number again. Thinking of Imperial, the end of Imperial Zeppelin, which uh, goes a little bit. Um, Goonish, uh, same can be said of, of that one. Uh, and then we have Aquarian, which is not too bad. And then Giant Squid and Octopus is them nodding out. Um, there is a version of this on the reissue of H2E and the only one where the whole thing is kind of spliced together. And the bonus track, well, I don't think was original uh, on the original release, is Necromancer, which again really does hint at forthcoming VDGG goodness. I really do like Necromancer. As, as you, I am the Necromancer. I just like that one. It, it, it makes me laugh. Um, again, that was on their compilation. I, 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 prophesy, I prophesy disaster. Again, back out in the Virgin. Back in when Virgin had, had something to do with their catalogue. Um, yeah, so it's, it is an interesting record, and yeah, like I said, it's um, there's Peter Hamill, Hugh Banton, uh, Guy Evans, uh, Keith Ellis on bass, and um, Chris Judge Smith appears as well. Uh, so, like I said, it is like a proto version of that band. And if you listen to this and then go on to H2E and the only, sorry, wrong one, 
<laughs> then go on to the least we can do is wave to each other. It's like a quantum leap. It really is. It's, um, it's like they've really. Uh, but again, because we have uh, David Jackson in the mix, we don't have him here at the moment. So, I mean, the big question you're going to be asking is do we buy this? Do we buy this record, Darren? Is it integral to our VDG? G, D, G, v, v, D, G, R, S, P, C, V, D, D, G, G. I love that song. R, S, P, C, D, D, V, D, 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 G. I'm, I'm just, I'm on, I'm another planet at the moment. Um, do we need to buy this? I'd leave it. I'd leave it. Not till last, but get, get through that core catalogue first. You know, get through. You know, at least we can do through to um, the other one. <laughs> you know the one. Um, oh, what's it called? <laughs> It'll come back to me in a minute. I'm very old, you know. I get confused very easily. Um, after a world record. Uh, quiet Zone. Pleasure Dome. I wanted to get it right. I was going to, because I always get it the wrong way around, you see. Do that lot. Go, go there first. And then pick this one up for later. And again, if you do get it with Fools, mate, I do think they make a quite good companion uh, piece to each other. Very good back-to-back, -back, if you know what I mean. Back-to-back. -back. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. Because there are different versions. Um, let me let me explain, because there's, there's uh, Wikipedia is my friend, you see. <laughs> Apparently there was a, a, a version out, the original version... Uh, had um, well, had, the, had this track, but you didn't have um, Necromancer on. Then there's a German version out where you get uh, a version of the people you're going to and Firebrand, which are two very interesting tracks as well. So, like I said, they're all different versions to pick up. I don't think you're going to miss anything if you pick up one over the other. You know, you're not going to get, you know, there isn't a, I don't think there is a definitive one because you still get that core bulk of songs which make up the record. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it is a, it's a bit of a curio. I mean, it's hamstrung in a way because you don't have uh, David Jackson's input and they are, really are, you can feel them searching and it is, you know, Peter Hamill's doing all the the majority of the songwriting on this as well, so it really is his project. Um, in terms of a rating, I'm going to give this, I think I'm going to give it two octopi out of five, that's two octopi out of five, and why, because while I enjoy it, why I enjoy listening to it, and you know, again, going back in time and seeing where all this stuff has come from, it is a bit weak, it is a weak record, you know, I know, I'm, I'm sure some of you, you, I know there will be some of you that say, is this my favourite, because that's how it goes when you do these reviews, there's always somebody that will put their hand up and say, it's that, I mean, even if I, if I say, Hot Space by Queen. Someone will put their hand up and say it's their favourite Queen album. Tis, tis the way of the world. And uh, all more, all more f for that, I, I say. Um, but yeah, it is a bit of a weak one uh, compared to, to what's to come. But it's that power shift. It's that, it's that interstellar overdrive different band. Completely wrong band, Darren. You, <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's that, it's that quantum leap different band as well. Barracuda. Um, I, I, it's just a it's just a stream of bloody consciousness today, isn't it? Uh, isn't it always? Isn't it always? Um, come on, Darren, bring it back in. Um, so yeah, I mean, I do think it is one that you do. You, yeah, you should check it out, but maybe later on. Maybe when you're starting to explore Hamill's solo career, you know, pick up this and um, Fools Mate. And you'll go, oh, that's interesting, because they are kind of, they do kind of share the same musical DNA. They would do, wouldn't they? Because it's all P Peter Hamill. I really do need to update these analogies. Uh, they really do feel like they've cut from the same cloth. There we go. I sort of, I sort of bleed the same, in it. But anyway, <laughs> thanks for tuning in. 
to this hilarious edition of uh, Prog Review. Uh, my name is Darren Rock, as it always is, and I've been talking about Aerosol, a grey machine by Van de Graaff Jr. Or is it? Or is it a Peter Hamill solo album? I'm going to let you guys decide. You can decide. Well, you can argue amongst yourself in the comments what you think it is. Um, but I think it is, you know, again, it's a thing of its time. And again, you could... Oh, oh don't just hate it when that happens. Bloody CD cases are broke. Um, you do see a, a load of a load of hairy young men reaching for something. Hairy young... We, we were all like that once, you know. I know it's hard to believe. Um, but yeah, so there we go. I think I've witted on. Have I witted on enough? Good, good. Only one more thing to say, and you know what that is. Do a proper VDG review next time, you bastard. Who said that? Who said that? Uh, no, the only thing left to say is... Prog on! <laughs>